Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here at Go Rails. In this episode, we're going to be following up to a video I recorded a while back about making dynamic nested forms with Turbo. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to delete the records from the form. Before we dive into that, I want to take a quick moment to uh, address something that was raised to me uh, by another community member around validations. So let's dig into that now. So over in the code here, uh, in the task model and in our project model, I've added, added two presence validations. Uh, as you see here, this one's in the task. Both are on the name fields. Um, and so let's go to our browser here and let's make a new project here. So uh, let me see if we inspect this form real quick uh, before we do anything there, actually I'll get a little reminder here. So this first uh, task field is a field set tag uh, for adding a task or adding the name for a task. And if we look at uh, the name in that input, we can see that it's got this big integer here. Now that is coming from uh, over in this partial here where we're calling time.now.2i uh, right here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's add, let's fill this first one out. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add another field to add a new task. Now, if we try to submit this right now, uh, we'll see that our validation kicks in. Uh, we also didn't add the name for the project. That was my mistake. I meant to put that in there. But since we failed that validation and this form got re-rendered, um, previously, those uh, those name that that portion of the name attribute there, they had two different values in them. However, when the form re-renders, uh, they they'll both have, as we'll see here in a second, the same value to them uh, right here. So uh, this big long number here, one six eight eight six seven one seven nine seven, we see matches the input from above. Um, the name here it matches this this portion of that name attribute uh, which is not good because as we'll see now uh, if we try to now if we fill this out to satisfy the validation and we hit create only that second one gets created so this is not ideal so we want to address this uh, for sure right now 